Hi guys, welcome back. It's Candace. Okay, we're going to do another project in our grungy blue. Um, we're going to use a card that I got from the Dollar Tree. It says it's a bridal shower, but I like the color. I thought it would go in my journal. And nothing a sticker or label can't cover up. Same thing in here. We're going to cover this up and we're going to cover the back. All right, so let's can you see I put lace all in here yep okay so let's put my bookmarker on it so I can get going all right now we're going to ink around the edges oops make a little little space gosh I got all this empty room because the journal's not here all right I'm just going to ink around here because I'm just going to leave this like this other than what we're going to do to it. This is going to be one of those quicks. Quick, easy, but cute. Maybe we should call it Quebec. <laughs> Quick, easy, but cute. Okay. So we have this. And then I used one of the Artsology labels that I ran through on one of my digitals. And then I cut the sides off of it because it had like little round things. I didn't like it. Well, one, it didn't fit, but two, I didn't like it. So I'm just going to cover that. It's a bridal shower up with a label. Or, yeah, a label, I guess, because it's not stickers label. Anyway, you know what I mean. Okay. And then this is um, from Artie Mays. This is one of her Artie Mays' freebies. And then this is from the B.I.B. that... Here, I found it. Oh gosh, hold on, it's buried. I found that word. Oh, well, it's all stuck in here because I've chopped them all up and I need to put them in a in my butterfly book. But this is where it's from. The B I B R E V A D D O N one. I'm guessing that's the name of a butterfly species or kit. I don't know. But if you go into Artie Mazes, um Etsy shop and I'm sure click butterflies that will show up so I went ahead and fussy cut these just so you wouldn't have to sit there and watch me let me get his little antennas a little better and then let me get this other little neutral butterfly that's got a little bit of blue in there okay and then we're gonna which way do I want I want my heavy on top or heavy over here. I want the heavy over there. <clears throat> and it's just the heavier saturation of blues that I'm seeing on the digital paper. I'll hold it up closer to you for you <clears throat> to see. All right. If, you, if my head's in the way, it's just because I got to see what's going on in there so I can get it straight. Now see, it already looks better. So don't pass up little thank you cards and invitations if you can cover it up with a little bit of a little label. And then I'm gonna put this little butterfly flying here and maybe this one right there. Oops. I know I'm probably out of frame, but I definitely was gluing all on my finger. Let's just put, put that butterfly there. Dry paper towel, not a wet wipe, a dry one. <laughs> a dry wipe. Oh. I know in the beginning I used to watch people wipe their stuff and I was like, oh my god, they're using some of the wet. What is that? No, it's a paper towel, you dummy. So, if you've wondered, you're not alone. Now, he doesn't have any antennae, so I'm going to take my little black pen and, and do like little dot, dot, dots, not a, a straight line, so that way it's a little fainter, I guess she would say. I need to find a, a gray fine marker, but if you just do kind of like little dots instead of a straight line, it's not so, you know, in-your-face type antenna. I do need to 
around his little head off a little more. So now, see, that was quick and easy. But you see the coffee dye, my coffee dye mushing that I did. So that's why what my darker stuff was. All right. <clears throat> so now, well, if I can open it, I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave the inside white. Just because there's white on here. So let me just ink on here. Even though I was going to cover it, I still might. Heck, I don't know. Doggone it. Um, because i got to think about what I'm doing again. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my journal. Because my little scribble notes isn't matching what, what I'm realizing. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, so I don't need to do that. This one is that and then that. Okay, so all right, I'm, I'm with my program now. <laughs> Ooh. I was looking at my little scribble notes here going, huh? But yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. So let me just bend this to ink in here. And like I said, I don't know. I might, I might, I might take this little stencil and put something on here. I know I said I was going to leave it white, but uh, I had a little, a little moment of, no, you can't leave it white moment. It needs something inside moment. just faint and then I think I'm going to take this one and do it up here just for another layer of color. I'm going to ink my fingernail while I'm at it. Okay. And let's see. What well, heck? Let's just put some splats on here too. On the other side of this stencil. Well, you can see it on my side. Can't really see it. On your your end but okay there's that one's a little darker so let's go back and just hit that a little bit more okay I feel better about that now I know could have left it but nope okay so we're not we don't have to worry about this one because we're not doing anything with that but we are going to have to cover this back and um, let me see I think I'm wanting I've used this a bunch even though this is a different one because it's got darker paint but I'm kind of liking this and you can still write on it so I think I'm going to go with, with this so let's glue that onto the back we could still write on it because I need something that I'm going to be able to write on. Oh, y'all, it's rained all day. It is gray and cloudy. It's so dark upstairs. Even my husband's like, man, it's dark in here today. I'm like, yep, every day, especially when it's cloudy and raining. It's just, you got to turn all the lights on. You can't see up there. It is definitely dark. All right, now I need to, since I didn't trim the edge off, let me hold it up to the light so I can, there, get it on there. I should have trimmed my, the white edge off first, but I didn't. Which, phew, hello. Should have done this first, but I didn't. But we're going to get our ruler. We're going to tear it right now. Hello, don't.
don't even know what I was thinking. I was talking smack about this dark house. That's what I was thinking. Oh, let's just rip that off. All right, now we can go trim around it. I might have to name my Saturday video back Asward Days. Good grief. Crazy. All right, now let me see if I can get in here at an angle and trim around this. cut a, a thumb hole on the side. Let me see. I don't know. That might not be glued long enough. <laughs> it might fight me. So if it is, uh, I'm doing it right-handed though. So... Since this is thick cardstock, I didn't back it or anything because it's pretty darn thick. All right, now I think I want, I don't know, I think that's going to be in my way. I don't want anything, apparently. All right, so let's get out our journal. And we're going to put it on this page. Let me get rid of my paper. Oops. Uh, it's in the box, but I threw it in there. I didn't. I used a clipper around the edge of the box, but did not. Okay, so we're going to put this over this edge. However you want it. Bottom. I'm putting it in the middle. Oh, golly. Make sure that's not the way. Let me get my paper clip back. Or a, a paper clip back. Let me make sure that that doesn't get in my way because we're going to put it on here oh well shoot. It's supposed to be a tuck pocket this way so I need to trim this off oh, good god y'all that's because I, I didn't look first check before you check before you poke a hole in it no problem <laughs> we got room room for adjustment all right Let's look at it this way and not uh, for memory. But now, if you put it down here, let me see if I even have, oh, this will work. You can have a side tuck. If you put it, um, you don't have to worry about the finger hole. If you put it this way and then glue it this way is what I'm thinking and have another Thing this way but let me let me look how my I think my middle is more fat than my top oh but I do have this up hold on let me look at something else where's my other paper clip that's gonna be in the bottom so I just I'm kind of liking it in the middle because if I put it up top then I'm yeah I'm putting it in the middle all right so We'll put it in the middle, and I'm going to put a thumb holey over here. All right, so let's put the thumb hole in there so we know it's a pocket. Oh, hold on, I'm wearing it. All right. Now let's try this again. All right. Whew. Got my hair down. I'm hot. <laughs> All right. Oh, Lord. Okay, so now we're going to glue around the three edges. 
but you know be about an eighth of an inch from the from the middle because we're gonna it's gonna be a, a flip all right now I know I make things so much harder than they really are oh, I'm stuck on the other thing Stuck on the other thing again. You just want to make sure that it's straight. Hold on, let me get my glue off of this before I glue something to it that doesn't need to be glued. All right. And then let's smoosh this down. Because we glued on the inside about an eighth of an inch away, and then we did around. So we did one, two, three. And we're leaving this open to put a journal card, I mean a tag, which is something else I have to make. <laughs> I know. See, everything I do has has something else you got to make make with it. You know, that is a a two day old sponge and it is crumbling more than my old one was. I don't know what its deal is. Okay. But there's room you can um journal on here and then you open this and this flips out. Where's my... Let me smoosh it down. Just ink in the crease a little mm -hmm. bit better. So, there you go. Isn't that cute? I mean, these colors just went so well with this digital of Janie's. So, we, changed, we took our bridal shower invitation card turned it into the, a cute little flip out and then we stenciled in here with our Tim Holtz stencil and then we glued the back on here and actually I made this paper clip I'm gonna put it on here I believe this is was in the uh, the buttons thing uh, not a button more of a dangle charm so but I just used a o-ring and attached it to it and I'm just gonna put that on here to dangle out on the side of here, which it might have to be up top because our tie is gonna be in the way. So, but, and that's another idea that, you know, how, you know, to use any broken earrings or stuff that you have. If, if you got a hole in it, or if you have a little drill that you can drill a hole in there, put you an O-ring on there and just make you a cute little dangle. Now, if I could find a little metal something and glue on here that would be even cuter but I don't have that so now is this gonna fit in here I don't know I might just do that I don't know it's a little thinner than I like let me see I got this one hanging back here but see that's shorter oh gosh it's the Goldilocks and three bears thing again oh let me try Woo. An index card. See, that's a little snug. So I'm gonna have to trim it off a little bit. But, or, I know, I know, I know. See, that's my problem. I give myself too many stinking options. This is a, a book page that we can cover, but I'm still gonna have to trim it down because it's gonna end up being thick. But it's definitely the longest. All right, oh, wait a minute. I got these too. My bright yellow canary. Let me see. See, that's just a little smaller. Okay, I think I'm going to use that. I know after all that, I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. All right, so we're going to use this. And I'm going to go ahead and snip the corners off thing. Oh, I'm going to lose that. See, I couldn't finish somebody's project that I needed because I did not file this where it was supposed to be. I put it somewhere else and I just now found it again because I put it back in the place it did not belong. So, let me stick it in here so I don't lose it because I need it so I can finish somebody's thing. Karen with the K. I know, I, I lost it. I found it, and then by God, if I didn't put it back where it didn't belong, and I 
luckily I just saw it again. Oh. I'm telling you. File things where they belong. <laughs> that way you can find it. Oh, hold on. I got a, I got a little bitty clip. I'm going to see if I can make a little ponytail. And, and thank goodness y'all can't see me because I got some hair going on right now. All right. I had to get it off my shoulder. Okay. All right. So now we have that. Let's see what else we got. Um... You know, I mean, can I? So, let me look at this side. I could probably put that. And maybe. Okay, we're going to. I'm going to try to make this simple. Right. You know, I'm using the yucky scissors. They don't cut as pretty, but. I take my time. I can get this oval out good. Hey, girls, Fergie, leave her alone. Sorry, y'all. Fergie wants to play. Molly does not want to play. Like I said, one day, Molly's going to bite her. Because Molly King, you know, she can be mean when she wants to get her point across. All right, let me find some other paper. What do I have up, up against there? I need something blue. All right, I got some options. I have like that, which is kind of pretty. Okay, all right. Let me move this. I know, see, I need a, a bigger spot. Ouch. Losing that towards, I'll send them to along with my clear ruler. I know it. All right. So, and this is how wide we are just over two and five eighths. So, just over two and five eighths. Okay. Let's stick this on here so it can be on there so it can be all it can be be all you can be be a scrap piece of paper on a tag yes hey if that's what you're going to be do it with 115 percent and just and wear it and be proud all right let's put this one in here oh crap my yellow showing well, that's what distress ink is for. We'll go around there and muddy that up. Obviously, I was uh, needed more than a hair over two and five eighths. I needed whatever's after two and five eighths. I got to see now. Almost two and three quarters, but anyway. Okay, now I gotta measure again. Yep, yeah, nope, two and five eighths. Obviously, I didn't cut it good on here. Jeez, I know. Well, wasting your time. Wasting my time. Well, I had to know. Oops. I had to know I'm about to cover that up. <laughs> okay. So, do I want the darker blue? Oh, I think this one because that one's too dark for him. All right. Let me see. here with this back here kind of liking it just straight across and I'm gonna cut it right there
well, that one's not as straight as up here. Let's ink up here because this is the straighter part. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. And then we're going to glue it on here. Squish it down. Squish it real good. I know. It just comes out. I'm sorry. Alright. Now I'm going to have to trim. I just can't ink around it. Because I can see the, the difference in, in levels in paper. I guess that would be called mixed media. Oh, well, I just unmixed media it. It's all even. And putting that on here. I'm going to put it down here. And I still might put something else down there. I know. And I don't want these square corners. And yes, I don't like square corners because I end up getting shoving them underneath my fingernails and stuff and it hurts and I don't like them. So, and then it catches on things. So, I just don't like square rough corners. If any of y'all are wondering why I always cut them off, I just like it this way. Okay, let's glue this one on here. Since this is open, let's just smear some of it on there. So I close up. If you hear some noise, my husband's in there trying to print something, and I hear noises, and it's not the printing machine. Hmm, I'm wondering, I think I'm going to put a little piece of washi across here. I know, just pushing my luck. Got all my glue drying. Okay, now we're going to put it on here. Dab a little more ink around. Okay. Let's see what we got. I got paper scrap back there is what I got. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. What else do I could use some more of this in there. Alright. Let me run back there real quick and get some, um, some of that. Hold on. Let me pause you. Okay, guys, I'm back. Oops. I didn't stop my stop, my stopper, my timer, but we know we're good. Let me um, get reinforcer hole. Because I need a little more brown in there. Oops. My stuff is falling out, and I just and I emptied it. I don't know. All right, and then I have this off-white 
yarn and some white eyelashy junk. And we'll just put both of them through there and give it some pull. And then that will be that right there. And I know it's just supposed to be so you can write on here, but now it looks empty. Let's see, do we have a butterfly we can put on there? Where's my butterfly sticker? A book. Let's see what we got. Something blue. Oh, that's pretty. All right, I like that. boy on here should we make it fly no we're just gonna put him on there because he's going through to that flower he's like oh that looks like it's got some good nectar and stuff in there There we go. We have our little bridal shower note card that we stenciled and put some little uh, a label and some butterflies on there and left it as it is because I just thought it was really pretty because she's going to be walking in her garden with all her blue stuff. So and she took off her shoes because there's no point in walking in a garden without your shoes on so you can feel the grass underneath your feet and walk on your cobblestones and stuff. So yeah. And and she lost her head. <laughs> well she's actually over here naked. She had her clothes on then you know and then she decided she's gonna hang up her dress. So and kick off her shoes. And she's just wandering through her garden. Okay, that that just got a little crazy. Okay. And then we took the back part and um, it's supposed to it was supposed to be a little wider, but I had the oops with um, cutting my thing off too soon. But it turned out pretty. And then we made a little tag to go in there with some scraps that we had laying around from from our kit. And there's room to journal over here, or over here, or if you want to decorate there. Let me put my paper clip back up now that I got the glue out of the way. Oh, and I I went and did this too added an extra pocket to this page because it was the only page that didn't have anything done to it and so I just put this little journal card in there and then stenciled on the back and um, so that's another little hidden pocket in there alright guys well there you go let me see if we can leave it like this so you can see what we made today all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, and ooh, let me get walk it back down. And uh, um, thanks for all your love and for your support. And if you like this, give it a thumbs up. And if you like it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and tell your friends. And I will see you guys on the next one. So lots of kisses, lots of love. Um, have a, a great rest of your day. Have a blessed day, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye, guys.